onto the first slide. So this is a baseline environment. <coughs> As you can see, it's a pretty high-end gear. This is a, it has a 24 cores, and they're hyper-threading, so it's really 48 cores. Um, and uh, the RAM is super fast, uh, mostly because it's, uh, we have 24 channels of RAM, so it's, it's like a super fast machine. Storage is super fast. The OSIC gear, this is OSIC equipment, so the OpenStack, uh, I don't know what OSIC stands for, so I'll just skip that. But uh, the storage is also very fast, SSD. It's not as fast as it could be with NVMe, for example, but it's still quite, quite speedy. Uh, and then in terms of the NIC that we use, we use an Intel 710 NIC. Uh, this required us to use a cutting edge kernel, 4.4 uh, kernel, because uh, the kernel we wanted to test on didn't have support for that. Uh, you can see in green, you can see our, some of our results uh, for the uh, benchmarks. So the benchmarks we ran, this benchmark was, uh, it's a prime number generator, generates prime numbers up to 200,000. And that took about 29 seconds. Uh, the Intel MC is a, it's actually a proprietary tool, unfortunately. It's a fantastic tool. I wish Intel would open source it, but they haven't. Uh, what this tool does is it tells you memory latency and memory performance and bandwidth. Uh, and we pretty much got about 121 gigabytes of seconds worth of read, which is outstanding. Uh, in terms of our benchmarking tool for storage, we use a tool called FIO. FIO is a tool that uh, essentially measures IOPs. And we got 46,000 IOPs on the base gear. Uh, and then we use iPerf for the network. We ran on 10 gigabit network. Uh, and you can see we didn't quite get wire speed there. Uh, I'm not sure why. You know, OSIC is, a, is shared between multiple people, so maybe that's one of the reasons. This is our gear. Uh, we used the COLA uh, revision um, 3.0.0.0. We use our milestone 2 with a bunch of stuff on top. So it was almost Milestone 3, very close to Milestone 3, um, but it wasn't quite Milestone 3. And then we had some RCs after that. So this is what you would expect to see in Newton on this type of gear. Uh, th that would be my expectation. So this is our baseline environment. Uh, we ran Ubuntu 14.04. We wanted to run Ubuntu 16.06, sorry, 16, yeah, 16.04, and also CentOS, but we ran out of time. Uh, we actually got CentOS deployed, but uh, we had like four hours left to do testing, and that just wasn't enough. So all we can present now is our 1404 results. So <clears throat> we use Ceph for all of our storage backend, and Cola, by default, uh, doesn't run with Ceph, but you can enable Ceph, and it works great. This is a totally fantastic implementation. All the Ceph mods and OSDs run inside containers. Um, it's pretty straightforward. When we, when we ran our benchmark, when we ran our system, we had 20 storage nodes, and we had uh, 100 compute nodes and three controller nodes. Uh, so you can see here that some of the IOPs, you would expect the 4K random re reads and writes to be a little slower, and they are quite slower because there's more stuff happening in the system. Uh, so they're almost like uh, half as slow. Uh, and then when we go to four megabytes, we crank it up quite a bit. We get quite a bit more uh, quite a bit more bandwidth. Now, this is the bandwidth of the network. So, uh, you know, theoretically, we should be getting maybe like maybe 9.3 uh, gigabytes per second instead of, or sorry, 9.3, yeah, 9.3 gigabytes per second instead of 4.7 gigabytes per second. So we're not quite there um, in terms of Ceph, but I think Ceph is fantastic. I really love Ceph. I think Ceph is really the only answer for OpenStack. So if you're really going to deploy OpenStack, Use Ceph. Uh, even if you don't use Cola, use Ceph. Uh, that would be my recommendation because Ceph solves a whole slew of problems. So, okay. So these are our O, -pro o profile results. O profile is a static analyzer, and what it does is analyze the performance of the system uh, in terms of uh, it takes samples over time of different parts of the system running. It actually analyzes the kernel. So it tells you if the kernel is running or not. Uh, and you can see here this, uh, this uh, big, big, uh, what is it, 40%. That's the networking stack. So, so networking stack is quite busy. Now, the way we ran this test is we ran uh, 128 rally. We ran rally with 128 iterations. 
uh, with our standard rally test scenarios that we were running during our OSIC testing and it produced these results. You also notice that HECA and Elasticsearch take up about 25% of the CPU utilization. Now the cool thing about all this is that the CPU utilization was only at 60, sorry, the idle time was at 63%. So we had about 37% CPU utilization. So the CPUs weren't really utilized on the controller node. I'd imagine on the commute, compute nodes with uh, overcommit they'd be uh, heavily used. This is just the controller node, by the way. Um, wanted to see where the controller node was in terms of performance, What if we need more CPUs, less CPUs, more I.O. Um, now, Intel does a fantastic job on their drivers. I think uh, one problem we have with this driver in particular is it was kind of brand new and uh, maybe needs some work, so some tuning. Uh, I think once this driver is tuned a little bit, uh, we'll see kind of a more even bar graph over time. So TLS uh, performance impact, this is something we looked at uh, because we were curious to see what TLS would, would look like with HA proxy. We use HA proxy uh, for our TLS. We don't use uh, the Python TLS implementations in any, any part of OpenStack. HA proxy is very fast, written in C. Uh, on the last slide, you notice HA proxy was kind of in the noise of the one to two percent. So it really didn't use up much CPU utilization. Uh, with the no TLS option, we see, uh, it's a bit hard to see, you can see uh, the minimum time was 0 0.314 seconds and kind of with TLS the minimum time was 0 .8, 0 0.851 seconds. Sorry I don't have this memorized, but uh, my memory is bad. So uh, the key points here are that there was about a 300% impact on stuff where we ran very fast calls. And by fast calls I mean we ran uh, just a keystone authentication. So we authenticate a keystone over and over and over 128 times, and that's how long it, that's the impact that TLS took with that. Now, um, the average impact is about 138%, so that's pretty solid. If you're running a cloud typically uh, with load, and you're not just trying to get the fastest uh, peak performance, uh, you're gonna have maybe a 40% impact on, on your TLS with TLS with just using Keystone. So I've got another slide though, which shows slow calls. So slow calls, an example of a slow call is a, like a sender operation. Now sender isn't slow, but it takes a while to do its thing uh, because it's gotta create volumes, it's gotta work with the storage devices. Uh, here we see there was like no impact on the uh, minimum duration and a very slight impact on the average duration of 20%. So we think the duration uh, or the impact would be like 20% up to 300% when using TLS, which, uh, you know, it depends on what, what workload you're doing. Um, I think our first example of TLS is unrealistic. Nobody's just going to pound Keystone for authentication keys. That's not going to happen. This is a more realistic expectation of what people will use. So I think we're going to see more like a 20% uh, impact, maybe 30%. Um, in some use cases. Like Nova, for example, if you look at these numbers with Nova, it's like 0% because Nova starts with VMs and then it communicates with a bunch of stuff and there's not a, a whole lot of uh, impact there. So uh, our operational deployment management. So this is what Cola does. This is, Cola is an operational deployment management tool and when we deployed, we ran, we, these are actions, uh, we ran these actions on 123 nodes. These are the times that they took. So our deploy took 20 minutes, uh, which is quite fast. Our reconfigure takes, takes 52 minutes. I think this is a defect in COLA when we were testing that has since been fixed. It hasn't been fixed. We're going to fix it in the Z stream. Uh, we know about it. We know there's a problem with reconfigure. Uh, it works. It just doesn't perform like we would like it to. We don't expect people to deploy their clouds a lot after they get it deployed the first time. We expect people to deploy maybe five to 50 times while they're learning COLA, and then after that, uh, they're pretty much uh, gonna be happy with their deploy, so they're never gonna deploy again. They're just gonna upgrade or reconfigure their cloud. So we gotta work on the reconfiguring numbers here, but the, the key point is upgrade is uh, 15 minutes, this, this is, uh, or 12 minutes, this is Compute Kit, uh, and Sender, and Heat, and some other, a few other services. 123 notes pretty impressive uh, deploy time, I think, in my opinion. So um, I'd like to give credit to the people that made all this happen. Uh, we worked really hard. This, 
This work landed around Milestone 3, and you can see the folks' uh, names there. We also had a large planning team that helped plan this work. I don't list their names here because uh, their names would be like three times as long as, as I have room for. Uh, so we had a very large planning team. This is the team that actually executed the work and uh, you know, stayed up sleepless nights and got like three hours of sleep for probably like about three or four weeks while we had the gear. So uh, those are, that's kind of, a, that's, that's OSIC scale testing in a nutshell that we've done. We have a session at Summit, a workroom session, where we're going to talk about uh, how we analyze this data further. Uh, and one thing we do have is a review queue item where we've put all of the data that we get captured and we've captured all of the data as well on the file system that we were testing with. And we're going to analyze that and produce a document out of that and publish that to docs.oo. So uh, that's all I have. If you have questions, please contact me after the uh, brown bag because uh, another speaker needs to come up now. So thank you, everybody.